On the final day before a veto recess, lawmakers passed a controversial bill banning transgender-related health care for minors. As Bodie Brooks reports, the bill didn't start out that way, and the loopholes lawmakers used to get it to the finish line are raising some questions. Bodie? That's right, Andrea Marvin. So by now, as likely you've heard about Senate Bill 150. The controversial bill does several things that members of the LGBTQ community say target and harm transgender people. But supporters say the bill is all about parents' rights and protecting children. But no matter which side of the, deba the debate that you sit on, how lawmakers pass this bill raises scrutiny over how much the public was part of the process. What do you have before you is Senate Bill 150. Motion, Motion on the bill. bill. In a quickly called committee meeting Thursday, within seconds, lawmakers pushed ahead amendments on Senate Bill 150. The bill, originally a controversial measure on parents' rights and pronouns in the classroom, expanded to now include that transgender care ban for minors. The original bill proposing such ban stalled in the Senate. You have waited till the last minute and there is no more room to debate to figure out what's ethically right. This is being rushed through and children are going to die and I hear from them every single day. A handful of advocates at the Capitol that day like Mason Chernosky rushed to testify in the minutes before the committee meeting was called. The process normally intended to allow public input rushed through by a GOP supermajority short on time. They used their uh, uh, procedural bag of tricks and, and, and made it work. Fox 56 political analyst Jonathan Miller says this kind of governing isn't new territory for either Democrats or Republicans. The party in power has a track record of bending the rules. They were under the gun uh, and uh, they made the decision to kind of shift course uh, and so waived the rules that uh, uh, normally protect the deliberation and, and public input. We move legislation very quickly at this point in the session because we are at that point of being out of time. This bill is nine pages long. To supporters like David Mead, the bill protects children from making a life-altering decision early in life. But LGBTQ advocates argue it will do more harm, exposing transgender kids to more ridicule and push them to suicide. Their pleas moving Democrat Josie Raymond to tears. Harms kids at every single school of this commonwealth. You don't believe me. You just don't know it. I'm embarrassed and I'm appalled. And I'm scared. I won't know. So right now, the bill is waiting for action by Governor Andy Beshear. While he hasn't publicly said if he will veto the bill, he told reporters today that he would not sign anything that he thinks would increase suicides and believes that child health decisions should be made by parents, not the government. Even if he vetoes the bill, the GOP majority has the numbers and the time to overturn it. Marvin? Thank you.